Hey, I'm home. Man, what a day. I tell you, everyone who's afraid of hell should just spend one afternoon trying to commute with this city's public transit. Hell is a summer holiday compared to that. Believe me. I need to get out of my shoes. Stupid dress code. I don't get why I can't wear sneakers to the office. I mean, it's not like customers can see my feet behind my desk, right? Oh, you already made dinner? Oh, you're the best. What would I even do without you? Come here. Oh, what is it? It was just a hug. No need to... Okay, can we talk about this? I mean, you always do that when I try to hug you. You kind of shrink away like you're scared that I would, I don't know, burn you or something. Is it because I'm an incubus? I mean, you knew I was an incubus when I moved in with you, so... Hey, look at me. Yeah, we have to talk about it now. Dinner can wait. Wait, is that lasagna I smell? We can talk about this over dinner. Okay, so you know that I'm an incubus. First of all, it's really cool that you're okay with that. Many people just get weirded out because of the horns and the tail and the, you know, the stereotypes. So, it's really cool that you were just okay with it. And that you never tried to take advantage of me. You wouldn't believe how many people out there seem to think that just because I'm an incubus, that I would just seamlessly throw myself at anything that, well, never mind. You're a really great roommate, and I mean that. You're tidy, you pay your rent on time. And you're funny. Also, you can cook. Holy hellfire. Were it not for you, I'd probably be feeding on microwavables every day. Okay, um, back to the topic. So, I am an incubus. And as you know, we incubi feed on physical affection. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love lasagna as much as the next guy. But every now and then, I need some hugs and cuddles and kisses. And, you know... A bit more than that. And, um... Well, to be absolutely honest with you, when I first moved in with you, I had hoped you could help me. You know, to supplement my diet, if you catch my drift. Oh, I love your cooking. Your spaghetti is amazing. And for real, like, what do you put in that sauce to get it that way? No, that's not what I meant. Anyway... You apparently have some sort of problem, and that's a problem for me, because, again, I'm an incubus, and every now and then I get hungry. Like, the other kind of hungry. Such as, lasagna is not enough hungry. Not even your lasagna, and that says something. Because this lasagna is really... No, I need to focus. So, what is the issue? Come on, you know exactly what I mean. Every time I hug you, you shrink away. Every time I try to snuggle up to you on the couch, you move away. That one time when your back hurt and I offered you a massage, you looked at me like a deer staring into the headlights of a pickup truck. I was already starting to worry that you simply didn't like me. But then again, you were always so helpful and you'd cheer me up when I had a bad day at work. And you listen to me when I rant about what an awful jerk my boss is. And you cook for me. Did I already mention how phenomenally good your lasagna is? No, I need to focus. So, I take it that you don't dislike me? No objections so far? Good. But every time I try to snuggle you a bit, you just block me. And I don't get it. You don't have a partner that can get jealous of me. And you know that I'm not trying to get your soul. I mean, for real now. Look around. There's like 7 billion people on this planet right now. Talk about inflation. The market value of a soul has tanked. Do you think I'd be doing my job if buying the souls was a viable option? <laughs> no way. Well, um, anyways. Why is it that you like me, but you also apparently don't like me touching you? 
Oh, come on. Of course it's that simple. I give you a back rub, you like it, I like it, I get fed, super simple. Or, if you prefer, you can give me a back rub, which works for me either way. And don't be shy. How about we first start with something simple, like... Hugging you. Huh? Oh, don't give me that. You liked it, don't deny it. I could taste that you liked it. Um, yeah, I could. And you taste really nice. Like, I could get used to that nice. Like, three proper meals a day nice. Really, you taste even better than your lasagna. And that's the biggest compliment I can give. And by the way, are you still eating that or can I... <laughs> oh, thank you. And so, can we please talk about this? I could taste that you really like the hug, and frankly, it tasted like you were just as hungry for them as I am. If I'm any judge, anyway. But there's some sort of aftertaste. Like, no offense, buddy, but a bit like you were afraid of my hugs. And I don't get it. I mean, you know me. We're roomies. We're friends. It kind of hurts me that apparently my favorite human is scared of me. Are you scared of me? Okay, but then what? Are you scared of hugs? Oh. Just my hugs. Or hugs in general. Hey. Whoa, buddy, you alright? Can I... Listen, I'd really like to give you a hug right now. Not just because I'm hungry, but because you look like you can really use one. But I won't do it if you don't want me to. What? No, I'm not doing it out of pity. Unholy Abaddon, is that what you thought this was all about? I mean, right now I want to cuddle you because you seem really down. But in general I want to cuddle you because, well, because you're my favorite human and I really like you. And because I really, really want to cuddle you. What do you mean? No, you're not just the meal that happens to be on the menu. No, I don't just want to cuddle you for nutrition. I specifically moved in with you because I wanted to cuddle you. Well, more than just cuddle, but we'll get to that. Okay, in all modesty, look at me. Do I look like someone who would need to snuggle someone they didn't actually want to snuggle just because no one else is available? Do you have any idea of how many people I literally have to throw fireballs at on the subway to keep them off my back? Oh, don't worry. I ain't low. I'm not crazy. Maybe once or twice I might have singed there. Never mind. Anyways, I really wanted to cuddle you, and... Anyways, I really want to cuddle you, so what can I do to convince you that I'm honest? Oh, you believe me? Great. Um, you don't actually look convinced, buddy. Actually, you look like you're about to faint. Seriously, I've seen tortured souls with healthier complexions than yours. Are you nervous? Don't be. If you have some kind of performance anxiety, let me assure you that there is not that much about getting a hug that you can do wrong. And I already told you that your hugs are really yummy, so there is absolutely nothing for you to be nervous about. Yeah, you don't get an awful lot of hugs. I could taste that, buddy. And if you're that nervous, maybe we can start with something simple. Like, maybe playing with your hair? Then we can work our way up to hugging and cuddling. And, well, we'll see where that road takes us, okay? Alright, how about we just sit on the couch, huh? That's a lot comfier, isn't it? Hey, relax. Drop your shoulders. Breathe. This isn't an exam or anything, I just want you to enjoy it. Actually, if you don't enjoy it, it doesn't do much for me either, nutrition-wise. So, relax. I'm not gonna hurt you. How about this? I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do, and if you don't like it, 
we can just stop right there and we'll never have to talk about it again. Sounds like a deal. Okay, great. But please, be honest with yourself. If you actually do like what we're doing, there's absolutely no reason to stop it, right? None of this has to be embarrassing or awkward or whatever. We're both grown-ups. If we both like it, there's absolutely no reason not to do it, right? Okay then. Step one. I'll just lightly brush through your hair with my fingertips. Yeah. Just like that. Do you like it? Oh, uh, this tastes amazing. I mean, this is just a tiny snack for me, but wow, I get so much feedback from you. You must have been really touched on it. Why didn't we do this ages ago? You're so delicious. Okay, there's still a slight undertone of being scared in it, but we'll get that cleared in no time. Just you wait. So then, how about we move a bit further south? To your neck and your shoulders. Nah, <sighs> yummy. That was unexpected. Mind if I do that again? Abyss of eternal damnation. You are so scrumptious. I think I'll have this for dessert from now on. It goes down incredibly with your lasagna. Hey, no tensing up again. Relax, and stop overthinking everything. I can taste that you like it. There's no need for you to hold back anything. How about we come a little closer? Would it be okay if I put my head on your shoulder? Don't worry, I'll keep rubbing your back. I want every delicious little drop of that pleasure of yours. Hmm. How about I just wrap my arms around you? Would that be alright? See? And just like that, we're hugging. Isn't this nice? Ah, I could really fall asleep like that. I never thought that it made much sense for the two of us to have separate bedrooms in such a small apartment. Would it be okay if I just hugged you like this all through the night? I didn't get a proper cuddle in an eternity. It's going to take some time for me to properly fuel up. You're trying to come up with stupid reasons why we shouldn't, am I right? Oh, come on. I know that you want to. You're just scared of me for whatever reason. Don't be. I promise. I won't do anything that you don't want me to. And remember, I feed on pleasure. So if you don't enjoy it, I can't eat it. And I'm so, so hungry. So come on, just some hugs and cuddles. Nothing weird. Hmm? You want to brush your teeth and take a shower first? That's a good idea. We'll have a nice hot shower together. And then... Hey, well, relax. Okay, we can do it one after the other. But maybe next time. <sighs> Never mind. We'll get there. As long as we can snuggle tonight. I'm a happy little incubus. No, no, I'll do the dishes. You go take that shower. The sooner you get done, the sooner I can hug you again, my yummy little human.